Sneaky devil death dealer. Let's bet your life. What the fuck? Dude, this guy and his fucking- I- you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually done. I'm done. I'm done. Fuck this stupid game. I am done. Get out of here. Goodbye. See you next time. Fuck this. I'm done. I'm actually- Ooh. Welcome to Black Ops Cold War, everybody. A game that is actually fun, and I've never gotten mad at a single time in my entire life. We're gonna queue into some Nuketown here, and we're gonna have some nice, relaxed gameplay. Have some fun, talk about some stuff. Make sure you leave a like if you're enjoying the video, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Oh, by the way, did you know Modern Warfare 2 is a bad game? Oh! Wait! What is happening? Help! No, please! I probably shouldn't have walked out there, but what can you do? Wait, that was a guy? He was just sitting up there the whole time? This game's got me cracked out or something, man. I can't handle it. I mean, listen, you guys can say whatever the hell you want about this game, but I firmly believe still that this is absolutely the best Call of Duty out of the last four. And honestly, if they had just retuned the skill-based matchmaking or, I don't know, removed it entirely, it would probably be an all-time Call of Duty, at least in my book. Like, I really do think on some level, a lot of this game being overhated was just it's different from Warzone. Because, like, everybody wanted a game that was exactly like Warzone 1. I'm talking, like, engine-wise, right? Like, obviously, this game feels very different from the modern Warfare 19 engine, and a lot of people really didn't like that. They didn't like, you know, having to go onto this game to get all their weapons leveled up and shit, and getting used to, like, you know, this movement style and whatnot, and then having to go back to Modern Warfare 19 style for, you know, their Warzone matches or whatever. Which, like, on some level, obviously, I get that, but at the same time, I don't necessarily think it detracts from the quality of this multiplayer in particular. I mean, I've said it a lot of times, this game's multiplayer is actually very good. It's definitely a lot closer to that, like, classic Call of Duty feel, as opposed to Modern Warfare 19 and Modern Warfare 2, but also to a degree, uh, Vanguard as well. Vanguard was kind of its own beast. Like, even though though it did double down on the whole combat pacing and trying to let you play the way you wanted, it still, it wasn't quite that classic Call of Duty arcade feel, you know? Although actually on the subject of Vanguard, I have seen a lot of people talking about it. In terms of the whole COD cycle thing, there are apparently a lot of creators out there right now that are, you know, doing the classic, oh, Vanguard really wasn't that bad. Why didn't everybody like this game? When, you know, the content creators in question are literally the people who hated on the game back when it was new. What? No, please. I did it. Yeah, that was one thing I did like about this game. The melee was actually very fun. I don't know what it was about the melee in this game specifically. I never really like it in other games, but on this one, it's actually pretty good. But yeah, people are kind of like changing their tune on Vanguard now, which, I mean, I'll say it straight up. I didn't think Vanguard was a bad game either. I thought it was fine. I didn't like it nearly as much as this game, but as like a baseline experience, I think Vanguard was okay. I've talked about it before. Vanguard kind of suffers from the same problem that Modern Warfare 2 does, but to a slightly less extreme degree, I think, which is that the game, you know, launched in a pretty decent state, but had some issues that by themselves themselves didn't make the game unplayable, but over time, like, you know, as you put more and more hours into the game, they become more and more grating, and those issues were just never fixed over the course of the year. Is this guy actually fucking serious? Dude, I got off Modern Warfare 2 to get away from this shit. Why are people still playing like this? Stop. But yeah, the most principal offender of them being the uh, thermites and explosives. They were just like way too overtuned all year long. The perks didn't really do a whole lot to help with it, and they never really bothered to adjust it over the course of the year. I know eventually at some point they added a trophy system into the game, but it was like way too little and way too late. What? I hit marked him and then he killed me with a tomahawk. This game is like, I love this game so much, guys. You have no idea. What? Listen, I know I missed, but this dude with the tomahawk is driving me up a fucking wall. But yeah, as far as this game goes, I really only had two main complaints over the year. One was that the skill-based matchmaking was just entirely too much on this game. Like, it was to the point it ended up driving me off the game. Like, I stopped playing it specifically because I just got really tired of dealing with it, you know? So yeah, that was way overtuned. And then the only other thing was that, you know, the sniping was a little bit undertuned over the course of the year. I'm not saying the sniping is bad per se. It actually, all things considered, it feels pretty good. It's just in the context of this multiplayer, what with the pacing and also how fast a lot of the red guns are, it wasn't like super competitive. You know what I mean? Like if you were sniping, most of the time you were definitely playing at a disadvantage. I know a lot of people felt some kind of way about the sniping and the aim assist and all this other shit, but especially what with how sweaty this game was a lot of the time, what with the matchmaking and all, there were a lot of instances where it really felt like choosing to use a sniper was just straight up handicapping yourself. Anyway, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to talk about now. I was planning on doing a Modern Warfare 2 video talking about season three reloaded, but we all saw how that went. 
Ha, my anime bear at 50 cal. How I missed ya. Ah! No! Help! Team! Wait, wait, wait! I didn't see that guy! <laughs> Why am I lagging, dude? What is this shit? Is it the server or is it me? Oh, I didn't think that would work at all. Although, actually, on the subject of uh, different Call of Duty games and stuff, sorry to all you Call of Duty guys out there who, like, you know, don't watch my other stuff. You, like, only really want to see my Call of Duty videos. I know it's been, like, a while since I've uploaded Call of Duty. Like, I think it's been close to a week. And uh, it's not through lack of trying. I mean, as you guys saw in the intro, I'm just kind of over Modern Warfare 2 at this point. Like, the game just has so many issues, and I don't really know what to do about it. And, like, straight up, I'm just not having fun, you know? And it's like, if I'm not having fun, then what's the point of making a video, right? And, you know, in with, like, having fun making videos, I have been been actually having a lot of fun playing a uh, Jedi survivor. I've actually kind of been going like all in on these videos. Like I've been going really hard with like the editing and the, you know, effects and stuff. Like I've really been trying to like get this playthrough on another level, which is kind of why it's been taking a while to get out. Like it's a little bit more effort on like the editing end than just these normal Call of Duty videos or whatever, which actually on that subject, if you did end up missing my last uh, Jedi survivor video, definitely go check it out. For whatever reason, YouTube decided that just nobody needed to see it and didn't fucking push it to anybody. So yeah, if you missed that, there was another episode of that playthrough and uh, definitely go check it out. Oh, we just won? Okay. Stab a guy in the ass and win a game of Call of Duty. That's how the world works. But yeah, as far as Modern Warfare 2 goes, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I'm definitely going to end up back on it at some point, if for no other reason than just to check out Season 3 Reloaded. But uh, for the time being, I think as far as Call of Duty is concerned, I'll probably end up hanging out on this game for a while. Or, you know, maybe I could go check out Vanguard again, or, I don't know, God forbid, go play Modern Warfare 2019 for whatever reason. I don't know why I'd ever want to play that game again, but, you know, it's possible. Dude, my shot with this Pellington is so fucking abysmal, it's actually not even funny. I was never good with this thing for the entire year. I don't know what it was about it. I just, like, I think I'm, like, trying to be too accurate with it. So I think I'm, like, trying way too hard to go for headshots or, like, upper, upper body shots. I remember when the game first came out, though, and this thing just straight up fucking sucked. Oh, my God. And I was going for, like, diamond snipers and stuff. Although, this wasn't even the worst one. The bear at 50 cal on launch on this game was absolutely fucking atrocious. That was one of the worst weapons I've ever used in my entire life. That is my one, like, grand achievement I can say I did on this game. I unlocked diamond snipers before they fixed the bear at 50 cal. Because holy shit did that thing suck. But anyway, as far as other content coming up though, I definitely do want to keep making these like variety videos. I mean, at least as far as this like Jedi Survivor playthrough goes, I really feel like I've been killing it with the videos. You know, as far as like the edit and how I've been putting them together, the recording and all that shit. I know the last one didn't do so good. I honestly don't really know why, but I really do feel like I've been doing a good job with it, and I've been having a lot of fun making them, so there's a few other games on the list I definitely want to at least make one video on, and a few that I want to revisit, like I want to make another Sekiro video, I want to, you know, maybe make another Bloodborne video, I also want to play Idol Showdown, actually, I'm sure most of you guys have no idea what that is, but it looks like so much fun, dude, I definitely want to make a video on that, and another thing I want to do is I want to go back to making Dota videos, I just, I'm not 100% sure how I want to do that, and then of course, out of all this stuff, I'm gonna have to say I'm not going to do some of those things, because there's only so much time in the day, and unlike most YouTubers, I have a job, so I need to, like, kind of decide what exactly it is that I'm gonna be doing, or rather, what I have time to do, I guess. What the fuck is happening? Just trying to respawn, man. It's not that deep. Nice. Nice. Really? This is the best play? We're gonna call this the best play? Guy sitting in the corner? I know he's on my team, but come on, dude. Anyway, I think I'll wrap this one up here. Like I said, I wanted to get something out for you Call of Duty guys. It's just Modern Warfare 2's been a struggle recently. I mean, even like last week, the massive gap between my uploads was literally because there were days where I would sit down in the time that I had to record, try to record Modern Warfare 2, play for like an hour, and realize I had made zero progress as far as getting a video done. Black Ops Cold War's always a safe option for me, and uh, I mean, yeah, I actually had fun making a Call of Duty video for once. But anyway, as always, if you did enjoy this video, definitely make sure you leave a like. And subscribe if you want to come back for more content. And also, if it's something you're interested in, definitely go check out my Jedi Survivor series. I'm personally really proud of it. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.